Heyo everybody, Haku here with my live reaction for Boku no Hero Academia chapters 377 onward. So the thing is, uh, no matter how much I try to catch up, no matter how much I keep trying to make videos, it just feels like the, uh, the series is getting further and further away. I've been doing three chapters for like all of the stuff I'm reacting to, but Hero Academia chapters are kind of on the shorter side, so I'm just doing as much as I can do in like 30-ish minutes or so. Um, so probably more than three, depending on how short the chapters are or how much discussion we have to do with them. Like, I'm not trying to rush through, I'm trying to take my time, discuss stuff. I don't want my reactions to just be me reading the chapter and then, that's crazy, bro. Next chapter. Um, so there is that. Uh, of course, clicking on to Hero Academia's, the homepage or whatever, it's like, oh yeah, the newest chapter is something like, we all love you, All Might, or something like that. And I'm like, that seems spoilery, don't tell me that. Uh, actually, kind of surprised. I was really trying to catch up uh, before chapter 400, because I was like, the series might end at like 400, and uh, it'd be nice to catch up for that. Uh, but no, actually, it's still going, which I think is probably a good thing, but I don't know. Um... So far, what we had last time, again, since it's been a little bit of a while since the last video, I kind of refreshed myself, reread some of the stuff we just read. It seems like everything is converging on the uh, main original body all for one side of things and the uh, Shigaraki all for one body side of things. Like, there's these two points where all the characters are ending up at. Uh, so, we are. Moving still into our final battles, it feels like our final battles are just like meeting up with each other, then meeting up with each other, and they're probably not even done with that, because there probably is going to be like one singularity where they all meet up for the final, final battle. Um, so I guess, I guess we'll see where things go. Either way, let's start reading chapter 377 onward. Um, as usual, can't show the chapter because it's jump and they would murderize me. So, uh, either way, let's, uh, start with these boxes here. As the with- er, as the heroes withered, the villains thrived. Er, number 377, the chain thus far. Due to the gap in power, achieving victory through standard tactics was as unlikely as grabbing hold of a thin, fleeting thread. Instead, the heroes strategized to divide their foes and claim the advantage, but a raging tempest began to blow. Alright, and I wonder... Speaking of All Might, I mean, I'm just looking at the hands, they look kind of older, kind of injured, maybe they're shriveled because it's All Might. It's probably hard to tell. Another reason I'm thinking is because, like, the... Like, Cherry Blossom, the Sakura Trees, kind of remind me of the one cover with him and Izuku sitting under them. So I was thinking maybe, but maybe not. Either way, let's continue. It could always be Shigaraki. I mean, his hands are kind of messed up, so were Izuku's. But they look kind of too old to be Izuku's. But I don't know. Um, we have Kurogiri showing up with present Mike to where um, Aizawa is with Monoma and Manuel. Yamada. That means we have some of the Twices coming through as well. Things are getting really bad. The Twice clones actually managed to tackle Monoma away from them. And then, wow, this panel is cool. On the right here, and then we have this huge eruption from the center of the uh, sort of UA cage. Below the UA campus, uh, er, below the UA campus, a power line was busted. I can't po- er, okay, sorry, below the UA campus, and then somebody is saying, a power line was busted. I can't pop in a spare. The corners we cut for this super rush job are coming back to bite us. Um, what's left is holding up, but the output isn't stellar. What about the electromagnetic barrier? And, uh, we're seeing Hajime, yeah. Hajime Mei? Or Hajime Mei. I always forget her name. Uh, Mei. Um, we're seeing her with, um, with, uh, oh god, Power Loader. This is Mandalay. We've lost flight control. We have Momo and Mandalay. I repeat, we've lost control. Best girl Mandalay, by the way. If you, I feel like if you've watched any of my videos talking about, like, best girl or waifu or whatever from Hero Academia, Mandalay is best girl to me. At last, I'm in. Prepare for your downfall, heroes. And we're getting a uh, cut over to um, Skeptic. We haven't seen in a bit. 
What's more, the Control Center Island is under attack, and Phantom Thief is unable to perform his role. Erasure is no longer active. So now we have just full... Like, here's the thing. I kind of mentioned this before. When, I guess when, like, All for One originally fought All Might, it's like, you have the ability to use all kinds of quirks, and we've seen some really tricky quirks in Hero Academia. So, like, wouldn't it just make more sense, instead of brute forcing it, to just use a bunch of, like, tricky, really special things? But then again, using multiple quirks does, even for somebody like All for One, require a lot of processing power. Um, so maybe that's why they don't fight that way. But still, it's like, you would think this would be the game overest of game overs. Um, the deadliest villain of all is about to be unleashed. Once UA falls, all of Japan. No, it's Kurigiri. What ha- er, what happened at Central Hospital? The entire world. Er, what's tearing away? Is he shedding skin? He's not moving. What if I told you that it's me here now? What would you want to do? Sit down for a chat at the mall? Hmm? Ain't happening, hero. After all, I am your villain. This will be destroyed. Er, will be destroyed by his hands. Okay, continuing the the entire world. That's the Shigaraki persona. Naturally, UA system was doomed to fall to my skills. Even their subterranean evacuation system is putty in my hands now. The ignorant masses and the heroes who cling to the old ways will perish in the name of liberation. And then, if the school comes crashing down, Yagirozu and everyone below are doomed. I've got to keep you way up in the air, and at the same time, not the end of Wano all over again. I need to keep an eye on Kurogiri so that Shigaraki can't escape. Crap, it's all too much. I can't breathe. I need air. The blowback from the powered-up gear shift quirk. When my cells don't get a second to rest, my body can't get enough oxygen. I said, you can't fall just yet. However, there's a silver lining to this dark cloud. All for one is having serious problems keeping those identities unified. Those of us within One for All resonate with All for One, so we can peer into each other's inner workings. At the moment, it seems he's in no position to manipulate the flesh he's possessing. Do whatever it takes to make your own body act, even one second faster. The chain of events leading to this moment will be your power. Found ya! Oh my god! Oh my god, I just got chills. I'm so excited. I've been waiting for forever. This silhouette... You know, who's a hacker? Who has pigtails like that? I've been waiting so long for Gentle to come back. And it's a, it's a, it's not Gentle, but still, if we get La Brava, at least that's something. Found ya. It took a while, but you finally showed yourself. Hunting you down was no walk in the park, because I loved Gentle and La Brava. Huh? But nothing's too much for me, because this is all for Gentle's sake, and La Brava's with, um, Tsukauchi. It's so weird. It's so weird seeing Tsukauchi with the facial hair now. Um, former crime former crime clip uploader villain, La Brava. I love it. I'm so happy La Brava is back. Oh, I'm so happy. Okay, now, again, like I said, I hate being like, oh, wow, that was crazy. Nice chapter. Okay, next, <laughs> next chapter. But at the same time, uh, you all know whether it's because Hero Academia chapters tend to be on the shorter side or because of the weekly jump upload schedule. Some chapters are just kind of like that. Some chapters are just kind of like, wow, that's cool. Now we have to wait a week. Um, at least I'm fortunate enough to not have to wait a week. Um, so I get to read more for this video. But yeah, I'm so excited to see La Brava again. Again, the role is going to be stopping what Skeptic is doing, which is amazing. I just really hope that this leads into us getting to see Gentle again, because again, I love the two of them. Um, I've been waiting for him to have his big moment coming back. Um, I was like, two big things are going to happen whenever Mirio comes back, and that happened way back at the Liberation War sooner than I thought. And whenever uh, we get to see... Um, whenever we get to see Gentle come back. Also, I would love it if Rappa did something. Rappa was another, like, sort of villain that wasn't that evil, really, that I would love to see come back and do something. Um, so if we get to see Rappa again, that'd be nuts. Um, I can't remember if we really did see him during the prison break stuff. I mean, I think we might, we might have at least got some sort of, like, a hint or, um, 
cameo, like some sort of reference to him. Um, but that would be another cool one. Either way, I'm going to go on to 378 now, though. And the next chapter is starting us out in the Task Force HQ with them. The evacuation system's down. Signal interference is preventing contact. I'm remembering something from my days as a shut-in. Just for practice, I once wormed my way into a feel-good ink server and replaced all the ads with, what was it, Optic Kitty? Yeah? And then the mascot of an international uh, renowned clothing brand. Um, uh, Creep? Uh, C volume 19? Sorry, it's hard to read that. It's really small. Uh, the code's functions are wildly long and the scope of the variables is nuts. I gotta say your coding habits haven't changed much since then. That ah, my tryptophobia! <laughs> or tryptophobia. Uh, that was you? We took a massive um, financial hit from that. Oops, my bad. Yeah, the, the pump dance, make it stop. And then, damn it, she's taking over every single one of my systems. I won't relinquish UA or the evacuation system. Those two most accursed ones. You've pinpointed my location, haven't you? What if I flee? You still lose. Okay, is General going to stop them from fleeing? The flames of revolution won't be doused. Tsukauchi. Huey's altitude's continuing to drop. Or, what if his big moment? Is it possible that Gentle could just, like... Maybe this is too much for him. Maybe if he takes one of the, like, uh, quirk upper drugs or something, uh, could he just bounce it back up? It's hurtling toward the ground. It won't stop. And then, Iba, hurry up and do something. The system got wrecked by that last impact. I'm trying to code a brand new program so the surviving section can keep the joint in the air. Er, there's not enough time, though. We should have known it was a bad call to leave our final, er, key line of defense to a convicted villain in custody. A crime is a crime, and we can't erase the past. But it's not always a lost cause. I am your villain. Okay. Last line of defense to a villain in custody. And is that supposed to be gentle? That looks more like, um, Aoyama to me. Yeah, that looks a lot more like Aoyama to me. I am your villain. I don't care if you don't understand. That's what makes us heroes and villains. And we cut away. And if it is leaving their last line of defense, I wonder if it is, like I said, if he can just bounce it back up if it's falling to the ground. Um, we've lost control. Prepare for a crash landing. Or maybe I'm just stupid. Um, what now? What? Get ready to fight. And we have, uh, what's her name? Yu Yu? I really like her. Um, whoa. A bunch of twices. Monoma Sensei. And the twices really are just swarming the entire place. A lot of them managed to come through with good giddy. Ethan. Oh, the, uh, the, the Americans. Ethan, those villains are asking for a taste of our lasers. And hit our allies too? Ah, hell. They've been invaded from the inside, so our X-66 squadrons can't... Wait, who's that? And then, oh my god, is it him? There's somebody floating in the air? We were given a head or er, heads up on your location, Mr. Skeptic. Made sense for us to nab you since we were in the area. And we've got, um... We've got Shindo Yo and uh, Miss Joke and Hound Dog. Grr, fate works in funny ways. Oh, because he was the one that uh, brought in Gentle. It's up to you, Tobita. You've got this, Gentle. We have, we have Manami. We have um, La Brava. Naturally, this is the least I owe the boy. About a month and a half ago, at Mikuzu Prison after the assault on Tartarus. The living quarters got busted wide open. And we see all of these villains escaping, including Muscular, or Jailbreaker, whatever you want to call him. With this, you're all free now. You or Your lives are your own now. Do as you see fit. We're free? Do you really mean it? Am I dreaming here? Time for revenge on the scumbag that sold me out. I know someone out there who still needs a stab and the world's gone wild, huh? So, is Gentle actually... In all of this, like, chaos where so many of the heroes quit and, like, what Stain almost kind of wanted, only the true heroes were the ones remaining, selflessly fighting. Gentle stayed to fight. What you want, punk? I ask you, is this truly what you desire? The only people who say they can't turn their lives around 
are the ones with no real desire to change. They're too impatient. They want results right away. I dashed headlong down the wrong path, without the courage to restrain myself. Damn right, it's what we want more on. I want to be the guy. And is this... This is some random new guy, right? It isn't the blade guy? I can't tell. Um, I want to be the guy to show them all a bright future. I thought that only our being together would bring me joy. Oh man, seven prisons came under attack, and the er and only this one had no escapees. What is it you want? Well, Tobita, mad, and he took them all down. I only wish to see La Brava, and to um, absence make or absence makes the heart grow that much fonder. I'm as greedy and stubborn as they come, you know. And your joy brings me loads more joy of my own, gentle. Gently, super lover. Tell me, boy, do you once again find yourself fighting for the joy of others? And he's holding up the entire building. On that fateful day, I only wished to save someone who'd fallen. Man, and his original backstory is so sad. We're saved, but how? It's like a trampoline made of air. And we have Mandalay. What? An air trampoline, thinks Izuku. Yes. To be... Ah, man, I want to cry. To be of service to others was my hope. I love Gentle so much. And Izuku realizing I'm tearing up. I love him so much. Bad news, kiddo. The balance is broken. He's starting up again. We're not in free fall anymore, but the second his hand touches the ground... Oh, true. And it looks like it gets sniped off. No matter how far they've fallen, each villain is still a human being. It's on us to recognize that about them. We absolutely have to. To borrow a phrase from a friend. Deep within each of their hearts. And how? She survived? I mean, it's awesome that she survived, but that's not all the villains that weren't, like, really evil that Izuku managed to get through to. And we have Nagant sniping. We'll find, or we'll find their starting point, their origin. The story of how we all became heroes, part four. That's one of the, this is one of my favorite chapters in the entire series. That was amazing. That was amazing. A part of me wishes I had read it live when this chapter first came out, but a part of me is glad I'm behind because that means I just get to continue. That means there's more. This was so good. I love this kind of stuff. I love this cheesy, the bad guys become good guys. Even though, again, Nagant and Gentle weren't really bad guys to begin with particularly. Um, but I am just such a sucker for this kind of thing. I love it so much. Oh, God. Sorry, I'm trying to get my emotions in check. Before I continue, okay. I was tearing up a little there. I love Gentle so much. I want to do another favorite character video eventually. Maybe when I get to 400, I will. Um, God, that was amazing. I just love him. He's got, he's got to be up there at this point. He's got to be up there. Okay, I'm just so happy. And I, I get to continue reading. Let's go. Let's go to 379 for now. And 3789 gives us a color cover with Gentle and Labrava. It's too perfect. I love this. They're adorable. I love them. Also, Gentle's design. Going nuts. I love it. This is 379 Hopes. All right. Central Hospital after Kurugiri was activated. Um, get the wounded inside. Quickly, the rain's picking up. Friend or foe, it doesn't matter. It's so cool how we're seeing all these different areas and how they're all managing to come back together. Um, not so fast. Being all or being up and about will rip open your wounds. It could be fatal. I don't care. Man, tell me where the enemy is. Tell you, an escaped convict, not a chance. He's a Kumadoria. Ask me to do this. Please fight on... Oh, yeah. He asked me to fight alongside him. Let her go. I'll take full responsibility, we have rock lock. But, here, use this to keep up to date on details such as UA's location, the enemy's positions, and so on. Listen, Lady Nagant, 
Ultimately, this full mobilization on our part hinges on our faith in Izuku Midoriya. So if your heart's telling you to take action for that kid, then I'm choosing to trust you. And we see her firing, even though blood's pouring from her body. I've still got one more shot left in me, and every single one counts. Gray skies. I had been stained by darkness and lost in the er, lost faith in the light until you and my successor came around to remind me of how I felt back then with my bright and shining hopes and of my reason for being. Now, let this reach Izuku Midoriya from Lady Nagant. And she fires her last shot. And it hits him and takes off his other hand. That disposable trash. Um, we're seeing the um, we're seeing the all for one within. After murdering her fellow heroes, she plays the victim like some noble agent of justice. She's just a pathetic pushover, drifting whichever way the wind blows. Ha! Huh. Manipulating her emotions and history didn't work, huh? Yeesh! Look at you now. That's what you get for sticking your hands where they don't belong. This horror is really interesting. The same goes for the way you groomed me, using Shimura and All Might to push my buttons like that. Okay, so this must be Shigaraki talking to All for One Within. And that's why all the fingers are crawling from without him, or like crawling out from within. Okay. Using Shimura and All Might to push my buttons like that, and all to move ahead with your plot to hijack my body and soul. To make use of my burning rage to take one for all for yourself. I got blended into this mix and became part of you. But guess what, master? I wasn't a fan of that scheme. So I hid my own core deep down inside my soul. Bit by bit, without you noticing, I started reclaiming myself from the inside out. Helping my origin follow that path. Kurogiri, I'm not in control of this body. Stop gawking and warp me to all for one this instant. Oh? She, she... I am... Protect... No, Shigaraki, I have to... Who? Where? She... F friends... I've got no need for all for one. Did you think you had everything under control? Okay. So he's fighting back, and we're seeing... Spinner and Shigaraki... The hand laying on the ground. I won't be your stinking pawn. Unlike those flip-flopping screw-ups, my heart ain't wavering. Everything I witnessed in this world of ours led to the existence of that house. Alright, as Tomoda Shigaraki and Tenko Shimura, I've got just one hope. And then, the destruction of everything stemming from that house. That's the only thing that's gonna save me, hero. And we see Izuku confronting him as they both fall from the uh, UA floating uh, floating cage, basically. Boy, is that you? Now that Shigaraki's got his quirks back, I can afford to fight atop that. Er, I can't afford to fight atop that tomb. Midoriya, and we have reactions coming from um, Mirio. I can't let you do that, but still. Oh. And it looks like the, um, gosh, what is he? The, like, we see a shot of somebody peeking from the rubble and filming, and the hair flowing up makes it look like the business course guy. Maybe he's going to broadcast this, making Midoriya, like, the greatest hero or whatever. Or at least allowing people to see it. I also can't pretend I didn't see you crying in there. And we have the two of them landing on the ground this time. All right, this is interesting, but then again, knowing, knowing that there's like a good, like nearly 30 more chapters makes it kind of weird because it's like, okay, then, so what? <laughs> where, where, do, where do we go? Um, I'm going to do at least one more though. So let's go ahead and read chapter 380. All right, let's see what more we can do before ending this video. We're seeing now uh, Gentle Still holding the uh, floating UA up. My elasticity quirk has stretched its last, not to do with a lack of love, but rather my own imitation er, limitations. And then we have number 380, a skosh, um, skosh, skosh, 
Um, hang in there, gentle. Give me a minute, and I can upload the new program to keep that school or er, schoolhouse up in the air. All right. It was nearly too swift a glimpse, but I dare say that was the boy I just saw. Does the departure point to the faith he's placed in me here? No, I suppose not. He wouldn't be aware of my participation. No camera, no audience. My actions here today earn me neither cheers nor jeers. The only, or only the joy of being alive and present, I feel within my heart. And I love this, him doing it just for, you know, himself and for love. And yet, people are filming him. Do not risk your necks. Hurry yourselves inside, because cameras and audience. That one vil er, that one is a villain supposedly in custody. And yet the one holding up this tomb right now is without a doubt that very man. Heed me, won't you? I'm doing my utmost, so please, get inside. Shut up, let us film. Ah, such passion. We're also doing our utmost. That's true, like, um, being able to give evidence of everything happening is so important. Like, I sometimes I hate when people doing reactions do this, go on like a tangent about real life stuff, but I feel like everybody having phones and everybody filming everything is something that sometimes people complain about, but I do feel like it's a very double-edged sword because while it is one thing to complain about it, I think at the same time, there are so many situations where people have been attacked, whether like physically or verbally, or whether people have been falsely accused of doing the attacking. But the fact that everybody can just film stuff now makes it so that so many of these incidents have video evidence. They like have proof of things. So I think that that is, again, this is written in a modern setting, is a good thing to show that like you have all these people recording this so that people all over the world and people in the future can know the events of what happened here. Um, and like it's all just evidenced. So, uh, you know, I don't know. Weird real life tangent aside, I don't know. I think this is cool. When Japan was falling to pieces, the nation placed uh, the entire burden on Endeavor. That day, we should have been documenting and curating the whole saga, and it should have secured the or links between heroes and society, but we couldn't. That's true, because society did crumble too, um, because they lost their faith in heroes. When in reality, they should have been more straightforward and honest. So now we film to reforge that link. This is how the business course does heroics. Incredible. To think I once sought to infiltrate the or this astounding educational institution. Again, it's the fact that it's gentle doing it. It's really good. All this coming back around. Ha, uh, you kids are something special. My phone has a mind of its own? Offering an opinion? No, wait, I can't control it. We've been hacked. Is it a villain? Since you raise electromag barriers on the fritz, I was able to hack my way into your devices. What are you doing, Iba? You have to er, you have to save UA. Oh, that? That action item's all taken care of. I'm already on to the next task. Keep filming, heroes. Imagine, gentle going to all this trouble and having nobody to see him, and she's broadcasting it live. He might have made er, his peace with that, but I say, nah, -uh, no way. And we have, oh man, I freaking love her. I love gentle in the Brava. So good. The load lightens. Huzzah to you, La Brava, and it's starting to push itself back up. We have the Twices clamoring all over it. Every last hero's gotta die. I am protector of what? And then Sensei, and we're seeing uh, President Mike and Aizawa falling as well with all the Twices. No! And Kaminari is left behind with Monoma, it looks like. And is Gurugiri going to save them? He absorbs them in the warp. He saved our teachers. And we see Kaminati and Mandalay. Or he was just removing Erasure from the playing field. Nothing helps out Shigaraki more than that. Whatever the case, all we can do is have faith and fight on. For everyone's survival. For victory. For Midoriya. And we see from the lens of the camera the two of them squaring off. Midoriya and uh, Shigaraki. Gunga, my original scheme was for him to become me in his entirety, melding minds with Tomura to create a new entity altogether 
was never, in fact, plan A. Too many. Damn it, I can't keep up. And we see, uh, is that Ryuko getting swarmed? Or, um, hero name, uh, mom? Ryuko is Big Sea Bob. Um, we see, I think that's them getting swarmed. Granted, Tomura's impulse for destruction eclipsed all my hopes, but that's a minor detail now that this body's role is done injecting my quirk factor into Tomoda. Um, now that this body's role is done, injecting my quirk factor into Tomoda will broaden my authority and put a lid on him. Okay, so that's the plan. The Demon Lord's completion, such as my tail. You ain't reaching Shigaraki on my watch. Get it? That's how our tail goes. We have Hawks trying to stop him. Her future's on the line. And a shot of um, Tokoyami as well. For the kids' sake. None of it's for you to chew up and spit out. And he misses a slash. To go further beyond, toward a future so bright, the wind seems to blow my way. They can't help but smile. Jeez. And he uses that Nomu's um, quirk to tear apart. Is Hawks, is, is this a death? This is nuts. Because this is like the quirk that the one Nomu used on um, Mirako, right? We have Tokoyami's reaction, and then he's turning into. Okay, so was it a was it a fake or something? Because I just see his face in the next panel. I haven't looked down yet, and he's like all like shoujoed up. <laughs> oh, is this manga's power? Because he goes all shonen, and then Tokoyami goes all comedy. Ah, the agony! I was too hasty. Oh, how I've uh, yearned for you. Totes an illusion for reals. No, it's you know it would have it would have been interesting if it was manga because of the the Tokayami panel as well. But it's actually Kami's illusions. If I'd been a skosh later, you would on alive that certain hottie I'm simping for. Not very fetch of you, no cap. And we just have all of the translations for her like zoomer lingo. And she's right. This sounds enter entirely wrong, but she's riding on the meat finger from, uh, I forget, Shishi something, Shishikura? Something like that was that guy's name. Um, but yeah, K who would have thought Kami part of the final fight against All for One? Um, As the faction receives refugees from UA, we were designated as a purely non aggressive defense force. However, the refugees have yet to arrive. And we're seeing uh, Shishikura grabbing hawks. Since we've deduced the imminent danger and impending ruination, we took it upon ourselves to assemble Shiketsu High School's hero course and assist in battle. Sorry, I feel a sneeze coming on. Okay, I think it's gone. But Yoarash is there as well. Way to flex. So is the hair guy not there? Was the Mom Momo or something? Was the hair guy named Momokusa? I don't know. Um... Yeah, hair guy's not there. It's the three of them. And then, listen up, pal. I'm the guy who decides which way the wind blows. I, I love um, uh, Inasa as well. I have um, Inasa figured up there is why I looked up, like at the bookshelf that's uh, behind my recording setup. Um, ah, that's so great. Yeah, that's great. I love it. But uh, yeah, either way, I'm going to end it here for this one. These were a great four chapters. I think 378 might be one of my favorites ever. That one was probably my favorite of these four. But I just, I don't know. It took me a while to get into this final battle. As you know, I was really critical in the early stages of it. But I, I've gotten into it. I, I really have come to enjoy it. I actually think what's interesting is that the Izuku stuff is, and the Shigaraki stuff, is kind of the least interesting part to me. Um, I like the idea of All for One being this insane, unstoppable force, but you have all of these characters from the students to the pro heroes, um, and like now there's the wave of twices, but you have like the pussycats, all these heroes, the students, everything working together to fight against these unstoppable powers, and it's so good. Um, and even then, back on the other side of things, you had Shigaraki, who, if he had his full powers should logically be essentially unstoppable, you would think. Um, 
but you had the creativeness of all these different characters using their powers to put UA together like this, to make it float, um, to sort of um, keep him from using all of his quirks with the trio team up uh, for Aizawa there that was keeping Monoma using the power. Um, and then you had all of the characters like the big three and Genist and everybody fighting against Shigaraki. And that was really good. Um, and it's just to me, it's like, to me, Izuku was more like I hate hating on Izuku because I like him a lot as a main character. But I do feel like he was more compelling back before he just had a bunch of quirks. Um, and at the same time now, like when they do have their fight, it's like. Izuku just has a ton of quirks. Uh, Shigaraki now just has a ton of quirks. So it's like, nah. It's like, I don't know. It feels harder to care about than the more grounded characters that just have basically kind of their one power and are using it the best they can. It feels harder to care about the person who just has a ton of powers. Um, I mean, for a villain, it works. Um, but I don't know. For the Izuku Shigaraki stuff, I think the character stuff is good. Uh, especially for Shigaraki particularly. Um, but outside of the character stuff, the actual mechanics of their fight interests me a lot less. Um, so, yeah, I don't know. You actually, sorry, uh, you can't really see him behind me. Um, I was going to say, mentioning the um, Yoarashi figure out there. So I've got, behind me, I've got the Izuku Funko Pop. Those of you who've seen when my shelves were in a different scenario i have that but i also have like um four figures on the shelves behind me when i record i've got carrot from one piece and uh takinashi ikari from demi chan with katari tai there as well pokemon stuff on the top shelves um but i've got like an all for one stain uh endeavor and um tsuyu figure back there and then on this like back shelf behind my recording setup i've got uh Todoroki, Shoto, Fat Gum, Aoyama, Yoarashi, and uh, Kyoka figures. So I've got like five more even on this other shelf that you can't see while recording. Well, you can't see that one behind me anymore. Anyway, um, I should maybe like think of a nicer looking recording setup. Um, but yeah, I have a bunch of Hero Academia stuff. Uh, yeah, love the series. Can't wait to catch up. Like I said, once I get to 400... Um, if, you, if you're new here, somehow, for some reason, um, I, for years now, probably over five, six years, I've read the entire series from chapter one all the way to now on the channel. So you could literally go back and see my reaction to any of the chapters. Um, though, of course, the older ones are probably like, you know, you look at yourself from years back and it's like, wow, you know, things have probably changed. So, you know, maybe some things won't be as won't be as good as if things are great now um but yeah there's a ton of stuff there and once i get to 400 like i said i might do another favorite characters video i've done stuff like that in the past uh if you're interested uh but either way to end the video off uh subscribe if you want to like if you want to um if you want to uh follow on twitter you can we can talk there or in the comments just comment whatever you thought of these chapters or my thoughts and reaction um, if you want to talk on Discord, the server is free and open for anyone. All you have to do is ask and I can give you a link to it. Um, in addition to that, if you want to help me to continue to make videos, um, you could uh, drop a super thanks. It'd be appreciated. Um, or if you want One Piece a bit early, One Piece is a bit early for patrons and members. And patrons and members get a shout out at the end of videos. Uh, so if you want to, you can get joined down below. Uh, to become a channel member, or you could go to patreon.com slash of the tubes, or a link will be in the description uh, to become a patron. Thank you to the people who are patrons and members. Thank you to Chosen Regular Evan Holly. Thank you to Magical Girls FR No No and Smeller Dog. Thank you to Cherryton Student David Langstaff. Thank you to Slayer Candidate SG. And thank you to Pure Element Pate Ardeal. Thank you all so, so much for watching, and I'll see you all next time.